Hello guys, welcome back. My name's Asmarant and we have 49ers news. Now this news is um, it's about five or six little highlights uh, going through, I think, Monday to today, through to fir uh, Wednesday, sorry. Monday to Wednesday, it's Thursday now. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the news from then to then, including the trade deal that we did as well. So let's have a look. So this is on NinersNation.com. It says, Golden Nuggets, welcome to the Bay. Charles, I can't even pronounce this name, I'm terrible with names, Charles O. Um, this is your daily 49 news for Wednesday. Uh, so let's have a look. Charles O, shot by trade, but ready for new beginnings with the 49ers. Uh, San Francisco, I'm ready, he added. The 49ers are a historical organisation. They know what it's like to get it done and win. I'm ready for new beginnings and a new experience. So can the edge rusher do well? I can't wait to see what he can do. Uh, the 49ers cut Joey, Joey Sly and Terrell Adams. The 49ers made four practice squad moves, cutting linebacker Nathan Jerry, running back uh, uh, Joeek, what's it? Jack Patrick and defensive lineman Eddie Yarbrough, and placing safety Kai Nurek on injured reserve. How Brandon are you broke out of the 49ers doghouse? In the meeting, they are listening a lot and you're trying to teach, but the results are usually on the field. And it has to do with just how you do everything, how you do uh, individual drills and how you run on routes, how you complete in one and one drills, how you can do uh, how you can do on the plays that we just put in or trying to script in a mental standpoint. Wherever you do, you do them right. How fast you are, we have the GPS on all these guys and track how hard they run each day. Okay. Brandon Ayuk's on one. Maybe he'll do good against the Cardinals. You never know. 49ers game review. Woo! Trent Williams was the real MVP. Uh, Hugh Funga impresses. Uh, Elias Mitchell, three longest run Sunday gains of 39, 27 and 27 yards. Uh, went round the left uh, Went round the left end. Debo Samuel's game change reception. An 83-yard grab in the third quarter was a screen to the left. And on Jimmy G's two rushing touchdowns, which... Cover two and five yards. He went left into the end zone. Uh, the reason so many things were uh, went right when the Fortnite's were left, that employed Trent Williams along the best left tackles of the, uh, the generation. Uh, Deontay Whitner explains change Jimmy G made in win over Bears. I thought he was decisive. He was in command of offensive. Uh, Whitney said on KB KMBR Monday. Uh, I'm not just taking about throwing, throwing the football. <clears throat> uh, I'm taking about when he escaped the pocket, when he understood that the guys were covered downfield, and how about we see Jimmy improve? How about we see Jimmy get outside the pocket? And he did that. And the first, the first, uh, sorry, the five worst things about the 49 season so far. My big picture conclusion through seven games is that the things ain't so bad for the 49ers at 3-4, and four. certainly not as bad as they looked during the four games losing streak that ended Sunday in Chicago. Some very positive things have happened for the franchise in 2021, but the Rams, uh, uh, he decisively puts unique and pressure on the 49ers decision makers and players. At the moment, that hasn't turned out so well for Jed York's team. So yeah, um, it's good to see Charles Owen um, I see see what he can do for the Cardinals. Uh, Jimmy G wasn't traded. A lot of people was you know um, you know they needed to trade Jimmy G now, um, or they're thinking about trading Jimmy G now. They weren't going to trade him. There's no way he's here till next year. Um, that's my thought on that anyway. Um, but yeah, to see Brandon Ayuk doing better. Eli Mitchell, Debo Samuel, it's good to see these guys and they need to be prepared for um, the Cardinals because we need to beat the Cardinals. If we can beat the Bears and the Cardinals are very hard, as we've seen, I think we could do better. I really do. Jimmy G, um, amazing. You know, some people said, oh, he's only doing it because of his family. And... He's born and raised in Chicago or something. So, but if Jimmy G can do brilliant there, I mean, he ran two touchdowns himself. What do you think he could do against the Cardinals? I think we could have a good game. I do believe that. I'm positive. I do believe we'll do good against the Cardinals. And it's good to see Jimmy 
kicking ass and proving a point that, yeah, you know, we, just like me, I raise my hand up, you know, we're getting, we get into it, rant about him, rave about him and so forth. But then you love him again because he's just done that, you know, so I hope he does well against the Cardinals. Um, but yeah, that's the stories on them. Uh, thank you very much for the 50 subscribers as well. Very fortunate. I appreciate you guys subscribing. And if you're new, subscribe. I'll be doing reviews, reactions across everything that I know and do. Uh, I've got trailers coming out, movie review to do. And um, I've got a Twitch, uh, Twitch gaming account and a lot to game as well. So check that out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys uh, on my next video.